Hello students, today's video is phrasal verbs about restaurants and eating. My name is Danny and welcome back to the December phrasal verb challenge. In this lesson, I will introduce some phrasal verbs about restaurants and eating with the meanings of each phrasal verb. After each phrasal verb, you will learn small parts of a conversation. At the end of the video, we will put all the small parts together to make a longer conversation. Please like, subscribe and follow, and make sure to share this video with your friends. Let's get started. The phrasal verbs we'll study today are eat out, try out, cut back and cut down, chow down, and sop up. The first phrasal verb is one that many people know, eat out. We'll also study the opposite term to eat in. Eat out means to go outside of your home for a meal, like to a restaurant. Eat in means the opposite. It means to stay home and have your meal. For example, I didn't feel like cooking yesterday, so I ate out at a new restaurant. Here's an example of a short conversation. Hey Sarah, what do you want to do for dinner? Do you want to eat in or eat out? Hmm, let's eat out. The next phrasal verb is try out. Try out means to try something new or different. To try something you haven't tried before. I can't wait to try out the new French restaurant. Here's an example of a short conversation. Okay, do you want to try out the new Indian restaurant in downtown? Sure, I love Indian food. Let's try it out. The next phrasal verb is cut back and a similar phrasal verb, cut down. Cut back means to do less of something, to consume less of something. Cut down has a similar meaning. For example, I am gaining weight. I need to cut back on eating bread. I am gaining weight. I need to cut down on eating bread. Here's an example of a short conversation. Do you want to order bread with the curry? I really want to cut down on eating bread because I have gaining weight. I guess a little is okay. I can cut back on bread later. The next phrasal verb is chow down. Chow down means to eat something very quickly, to eat something very vigorously. This is more of an informal phrasal verb that maybe you can use with your friends or around your family. Here's an example. This burger looks delicious. I'm going to chow down on it. Now, let's see an example of a short conversation. Wow, our curry has arrived and it looks delicious. I'm going to chow down on it. Yes, I agree. Let's chow down. The last phrasal verb is sop up. Sop up means to absorb liquid or moisture into something. You can, for example, use bread in, say, a soup to sop up to take the moisture of the soup. Here's an example. I can sop up the last of my soup with this bread. Here's an example of a short conversation using sop up. That was delicious, Danny. It looks like you still have some curry left on your plate. You should sop it up with your bread. Thanks for the suggestion. That will be a wonderful end to a delicious meal. Today, we learned English about the phrasal verbs, eat out, try out, cut back and cut down, chow down and sop up. Now let's look at the full conversation that we made. Hey Sarah, what do you want to do for dinner? Do you want to eat in or eat out? Hmm, let's eat out. Okay, do you want to try the new Indian restaurant in downtown? Sure, I love Indian food. Let's try out the new restaurant. Do you want to order bread with a curry? I'm really trying to cut down on eating bread. I really shouldn't have it because I've been gaining weight. I guess a little is okay. I can cut back on bread later. Wow, our curry has arrived and it looks delicious. I'm really going to chow down on it. Yes, I agree. Let's chow down. That was delicious, Danny. It looks like you still have some curry left on your plate. You should sop the curry up with your bread. Thanks for your suggestion. That will be a wonderful end to a delicious meal. Okay, what restaurant and eating phrasal verbs can you think of? 
post them in the comments below. Also, please like, subscribe or follow, and share this video with your friends. Hey, want to learn more English? Click one of the videos on the screen. We'll see you in the next video.